Well, this month is dedicated to those fighting, surviving, or even those who have lost a battle to breast cancer. Pink ribbons, of course, can be seen all over this month to show support. The Valley Today's Christy Larson joins us live from downtown Fargo at the Roger Maris Cancer Center with more on what the uh, new theme may be this month. Good morning, guys. Well, it's no longer just about being aware because many people know when they see the pink ribbon or maybe once they enter October that this month is all about breast cancer awareness. But now instead of awareness, it's also about taking action. And what that means is maybe if you don't have anyone in your family or don't know someone with breast cancer, then maybe you take the action of just donating money. But when you do that, you want to make sure you know where that research is going. You can also take action by knowing your risk of getting breast cancer. There is an assessment tool online that you could use. You could also start getting those mammograms at that, at that age that they suggest, 40 years old. If there's a history of breast cancer in your family, they also suggest doing it 10 years before that person had breast cancer. So if they got it at 35, maybe you start getting checked at 25 instead of waiting until you're 40 years old. But when I talked with Dr. Tierstrip here at Sanford, we talked about using your risk calculator online to figure out exactly one way that you might know what that risk could be. I think one other, when we're thinking about risk, one other action item I would like everybody to take is to search online for the NCI breast cancer risk assessment tool. Take that test. It's a calculator. If your, if your score comes up greater than 20% lifetime risk, then I would recommend being seen in a breast cancer specialty clinic to look at other ways to reduce your risk and better screen for people. Um, but yes, that's not 100% either. There are still people even um, that, that get cancer. So if you notice something that is not normal for you, I think get checked despite your family history and despite your risks. Now this is just a suggestion, of course, when you do that online tool. But another thing that you can do to help try to reduce that risk that you can start right now is you can lessen that alcohol intake. You can also make sure you're exercising daily to try to be in a healthier lifestyle. But again, Kyle and Lisa, it's all about getting yourself checked and making sure that if you do notice a difference, you are going and talking to your doctor about it just so that you can have that satisfaction that you will have everything checked out. Well, we hear a lot about awareness, and it's also now really about taking action, and that might be the most important part. Christy Larson reporting live this morning from the Roger Maris Cancer Center and the Edith Sanford Breast Center in downtown Fargo. Thanks, Christy.